Well, it's been a while, that's for sure. But I got a new microphone. My previous CAD U37 has served me well for over nine years looking at it, but I had to listen to a recording I was making for my new job, and I really think it was about time that I delved a little bit deeper into the world of USB microphones. So here we are. It's been well over one year and let's say two months now since I've done anything, and I had a very, very challenging last year that maybe I'll get into in a different video, but not this one, because I am hoping to get back into recording some RPG Maker, indie game, wolf RPG, whatever stuff. And I decided to start off with Chloe or Chloe's Requiem Encore. And so this was a game that I had played, I don't know the year off the top of my head, let's call it 2016, 2017. But I remember running into a game-breaking bug, so I never actually finished this game. And so I don't know what happens at the end of it. It's been long enough since I played it that I don't remember what the game is about. I know it's musical-themed. Uh, that's the kind of thing. It's a horror-ish game, so that's fun. And I'll read you the Steam blurb real quick. And Chloe's Requiem Encore is a 2D adventure horror game set in modern Europe. The genius violinist Michelle is invited into an old mansion. Inside waits Chloe, who asks him to break the curse of the mansion. What awaits the pair after the mystery is solved? Dot 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 question mark. Yeah, so this is right up our alley. I think it's uh, very inspired by you know, the Mad Father, which is how's Eve, Aoni sort of thing. It was a product of the time. And I just noticed that they put an H in the title, so it's Chloe, and I keep pronouncing it Chloe because the original fan translation did not have that H, so I might slip back into that habit. Anyhow, I should probably get into it. It's been a while since I started recording, so let's just go ahead and play the game. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing in the continue section, but that's kind of a chill as art option. But this game looks really good. It's a very modern UI, so let's just go ahead and start a new game. The creator is Bariki Clock, was the the translation or the romanization. Strong start. Nice scream. Oh yeah, this game was released October 2nd, 2013, originally. Whew, been a while. Anyhow, let's get right into it. This looks good. Very good. Cannot run diagonally. I cannot access the menu if X is the menu. Okay. Oh, okay, so we're Michelle. Is that how you pronounce that, Michelle? I thought so. So yeah, kind of delving into the reasons for me picking up uh, Let's Plays again. I actually have a bit more free time this year, so I was hoping to do a bit more for the channel, and I feel like... Ooh, wait, let's see. Okay, give me a sec. Oh, what are you doing awake at this time? Dots. Shouldn't you be in bed? Go on home. Please give me a ride. I can pay double your fee. Oh, you're a bad kid from stealing from your parents. But, hmm. In that case, I'll give you a ride. Where to? Anywhere. As far away as possible from here. I don't care where as long as it's far away. Took the midnight coach going anywhere. Anywhere? Are you sure? Alright, get in. Alright, while well, I have a chance. I feel like there's not a lot of... RPG Maker YouTubers left anymore, so I thought I'd do my little mini, I don't know, civic duty to start covering stuff again. My sweet Chloe. My Chloe. My one and only. only. <laughs> this is handling really well. I like everything so far. UI looks good. Text box showing up looks good. You can't see it because it's on my end, but this game is taking up the majority of my monitor, so whatever resolution we saw at the beginning. And it's such a departure from 
the older, you know, really small, windowed, maybe marginally larger free games. So this looks great. Where is this? Oh, it's anywhere, dude. I still can't access my inventory unless... Oh, escape didn't do anything either. So maybe I'm just locked out of inventory for now. It's not like I can go back. You've run away from something. I can tell because of the dialogue. First floor entrance hall. Great. Read the tutorial. Yeah, I'll read the tutorial. It's been a hot minute. In order to use items, you need to examine them while they are equipped in your left or right hand or both hands. However, there are some exceptions. Doors will open if you have the key in your inventory. And there are also other items like memos that can be used without having to be equipped. The bar displayed in the top right is a sanity meter. I see hearts on the left. I don't see anything on the right. You must not let this be reduced to zero. In order to restore your sanity, you must speak with a certain person. Oh, is it Chloe? Movement arrow keys. Yep. And then menu is X. So yeah, I've just been locked out of the menu. Uh, shift key, message, skip, control. Oh, there's a different run sound versus walking. Ooh, this is good. I'm liking this. Mm. Oh, oh. Love, can't be an RPG maker game without the clock noise. I'm very, very thrilled about that. There are a lot of spider webs. I don't want to get too close. Oh, look at you tugging on your little bow tie. Won't open. The old clock is ticking. Oh, but who wound it? Oh, and now you stop, huh? Oh, no, wait, it's just a distance thing. Oh, this is save point. Ooh, nice, nice RPG maker menu noise. Left and right hand, wow. A lot of, a lot of UI in this game. Won't open, seems to be locked. I keep marveling at it because it's just so different from the early stuff. Heck, even, <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Early Noel the Mortal Fate, which I am aware is complete, and I will get around to playing eventually. Because I've dumped, like, 24 hours plus into recording that game. And so, I gotta know what happens. Uh, let's see. Flowers blooming. On closer look, they seem to be artificial. Also, if you're still listening, which I hope you are, because it's kind of the beginning of the video, if you have any game suggestions, please let me know in the comments, since I feel like... Nothing has really crossed my my dash. Man, the picture is giving the woman a bouquet. Yeah, nothing's really crossed my my path recently. Like I'm still waiting for Lydia to do the Midnight Train remaster, but other than that, you know, just not a lot. I know Uri's writing a book or working on some other non-game project. And Misao is getting a remaster, which is on my radar uh, to play the original or the Steam release of it. So if you can think of any games that would be interesting, let me know. I'd be happy to look into things. No promises, given how rarely I, uh, I record, but... Okay, I need to make a conscious effort to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I don't suppose there's something about this painting that I have to get up to. Uh-oh. I thought I was supposed to climb up there, but I might have... might have borked it. Let's see. You're locked. Oh, candlestick. I need light. Can't do anything with that. Where? 
Where can I get... Where can I get a light? Anyone got a lighter around here? Oh wait, do I just have to equip this? Michelle's clothing. High quality clothing that Michelle is wearing. Yeah, thanks. Candlestick. Flame from the candle. Great, so leaving, hopefully, not only reset the position of the stool, but also. was how I progressed. Burn the spider webs. I thought that I read somewhere that spider webs don't burn in the same sense, but they do kind of smolder, so you could burn them in air quotes. Wouldn't know. What is this? There's a sword on display. There's two swords, but it seems one has been removed. Okay. What is this music? I'm not hearing anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, what is the song called? Is it... Okay. I know this from... What is quite possibly the weirdest place to recognize it from, but... I think this is a really important song for the third Pat Labor movie. It's like Wicked 13, I think. Is it Pathetic? I feel like... Is it Mozart? Okay. Here's, here's the other thing that... I'll have to reckon with in this game. As I mentioned, and as you can see, this is a game about music. I was not a band kid. I was not an orchestra kid. I am not musically inclined. So all of this is gonna be new to me. I don't know anything about instruments, barely recognize classical composers. So uh, this is uh, going to be a bit of a challenge for me. So pardon me as I look this up on my phone. Was it Wicked? A Wasted 13. Hmm. I really do feel like it's Mozart, but... I'm trying to look this up. This is the horrible use of the video, but... You know? A true musician must be obedient to his art. Eric Satie. Alright, that's the guy that did Gymnopedia. I'm looking this up. I also highly recommend that movie, Pat Labor. I think it was, uh... This is Beethoven, so... Not quite, but it was pathetic. Great. Painting... Something feels off. Okay. Vibes are off that way. We're not going. Oh. Well, here. Let's, uh... Let's save before I talk to you. Yes, indeed. There is a piano. What if I ignore you and go here? Locked. I do worry somewhat that... There's no one in the audience. Well, I was gonna have a seat, but... A girl? Oh my gosh, didn't give me cooties. Oh, jeez. Uh, excuse me, my name is... Michelle. I know your name. Ah, uh, yes. May I ask your name? Chloe. Chloe. What is this place? Do you reside here? Yes. But I want to leave. Can you just leave then? No, I cannot. This manor is cursed. And there it is, there's the kicker. That's why we're here and that's why we're not leaving. Cursed, what do you mean? You. 
Yes, you too. Hey, Michelle. Please, break this manor's curse. I want you to free me from here. I mean, sure, I'm obliged. Really? Do you prom- Oh, uh, I don't know. I was gonna do it on good graces, but once you make me promise things, I'm iffy about it. I promise. Mm -mm. We're done. We're done for. Thank you, Michelle. No promising the creepy people in the haunted mansions. This is not how. This is not how it works. In the first floor guest room, east key. Look for the sheet music. Sheet music. I want to hear you perform. Perform. Oh. Aha. Piano Sonata, number 8 in C minor, up 13, Sonata Pathetique, an early masterpiece by Ludwig van Beethoven. It was rare for him to name his work, thus it is speculated that there is a special meaning behind the title. Great, so... I will, I will abstain from googling any further song titles. Okay, we're not going up there. Oh, this is the, the downstairs. Oh no, come on. Line up, there we go. One AM? Okay. First floor east key. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. West You lied to me. Okay. What? First floor guest room east, but then the key says... Okay, the key's taken. It's fine. Is this Moonlight Sonata? Oh, hey. There's a moon. Did I gaze too deeply into it? I, I forgot to comment. When I turned around, my reflection was still looking out. Achievement, another me. There's another Michelle in the mirror. Yeah, like that. It just lingers. Don't tell me this is an arrangement puzzle. Let's have a little look around. I see the sparkly, but let's have a little look. Dresser. Okay, yeah. I can dig this. I do worry very, very deeply that this video will be content ID'd because it seems like I've just had a really bad run with classical music being ID'd. Like, oh, some, some company did a cover and then content ID'd it, so all versions of that music just belong to some modern company now, even if it is something that potentially might be in public domain. Cracked. Ooh. You know, I just finished watching Dune Part 2, so yes, I will put my hand in the box. Key. For the first floor guest room east? You know what? I'm just not gonna question it anymore. No brush. Dual wielding my candlestick and brush combo. Everyday items. Painting of flowers. Okay, no more no more looking in the mirror. Well, that was nice. this room. Scissors? Mm. Is it you? I have no eyes. Dang. That's rough, buddy. My eyes. I want my eyes. Could you give me my eyes? Don't give. Okay. I know 
That if I had said give, that that little abomination would have just plucked mine right out. You won't fool me. Okay, we don't look at that anymore. I've had pretty extensive experience in these sorts of scenarios. But I bet we gotta go get an eye from the other doll. And that's the hunch. Okay. It's my dear Julieta is written on it. Oh. Where did I hear that specific noise before? That sounded very familiar. Nightmare of the Snow? Oh, you, uh, did you slump? The doll's crying. See, we could have done... Get them back. Oh! Back. Ooh. If I talk to Chloe now, can I get my... Can I get my sanity back? That hurted. <laughs> I love this song. How about you, Michelle? I like it. It reminds me of a absolutely insane mecha movie. Is that so? I'm delighted. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do the the normal human thing and not pull our eyes out. What kind of event horizon nonsense is this? Where we're going, we do need eyes to see, actually. Oh wait, I need to... I should have saved, actually. Does that mean found you? Oh wait. I did mess that up. It's because I didn't equip the eyes in my hand, and so I gave her my eyes. Michelle. Are you alright? I brought you here because I found you on the floor. Huh. Alright, we need to get this eye thing done so that I don't go around getting my eyes ripped out or ripping out other people's eyes. Because around here, we believe in the golden rule. Right, here, take these. Take these eyes and be done. No, come on. I didn't mean that. Okay, are you done? Are you are you finished? Take this. Oh, is this Moonlight Sonata? I bet this is Moonlight Sonata, isn't it? Okay. No, oh, you're up and about. Ah, uh, Michelle, I'm tired of playing the piano, so I will stop. Okay, is it my turn then? Sure. There was a comedian that I really liked when I was younger who did piano music and like just made it into a comedy routine. Victor Borgay, that's who it was. I remember, I think he did a Moonlight Sonata bit and it just turned into like Happy Birthday or something. <laughs> no, no, it was good, but that is not what I wanted to listen to. I can play the piano. Michelle, you can play another instrument. I don't have one, so I can't. Plus, I... Promise. See, this is the promise, man. All right. I think there's an instrument in a room on the first floor. Play Moonlight Sonata on the piano. Do I drop off the paper here? No. First floor library. 
Uh, thank you. It's nothing. Do you need the... Do you need that? No? Okay. Well, I'm glad that this game is not as punishing as I thought it would be. It would be long dead by now. I hear a cat. I don't see a cat. Alright, let's tempt fate. I have a sneaking suspicion that that, that bouquet is for this over here somehow. It's like, this dude probably wants flowers. Could you move out of the way? Nope. I bet that dude needs flowers. This seems like a good place for a library. That is not. Okay. Library time. There's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have a sip of water. Let's have a look around. Well, nothing strikes me as being out of the ordinary so far, so we might be okay for a little bit. Oh, this is good. I really do enjoy this game. Moonlight, an early masterpiece. Ludwig von Beethoven, alongside Piano Sonata Number no. 8, Pathetique, and Number no. 28, Appassionata. They were known as the three main piano sonatas. Beethoven was in love with one of his students, the Italian Countess Giulietta Giussiardi, Giussiardi whom he developed devoted Moonlight to. And pardon my Italian, or lack thereof. Requiem, a song composed to mourn the deceased. And that was going to be another point of discussion, which if the game is called Chloe's Requiem, I wonder what we're supposed to be playing Chloe which song she wants us to perform for her. Twin sister. We were always together when we were younger. And everyone around us said we were such close sisters. However, as we got older, I noticed something. We differed greatly. She was incredibly beautiful, and I was incredibly ugly. Everyone spoke so highly of her. On the other hand, everyone spoke ill of me. I love my sister. However, gradually I began to worry about her differences. One time I fell in love, yet it seemed he loved my sister and not me. I began to hate my sister, I began to feel despair towards our differences. One night, I made a wish, if only she would disappear, if only she would die. The stars were pretty that night. The next day, I was woken up by a strange smell, and the music stopped, so this is where it gets scary. When I opened my eyes, I saw my sister's dead body. As I looked down, I saw the palm of my hands covered in blood. I had killed my sister. You know, I have a really mean comment that I want to make, but I just realized that it's essentially major, major spoilers to a game that I had previously covered. <laughs> Re-killing your sister, but okay, I'll refrain. If you know, you know. My face looked even more disgusting, dyed red by her blood. Superb. Elaine Ardans, 1850. A heretic of the music world, his melodies were unique. They contained a mysterious allure, which had drove those who listened to it mad. The man himself was surrounded in mystery, and there were rumors that he was violent towards his wife and daughter. Okay. Interesting. So that did not trigger an event, so maybe it's this. It seems to be something written. Obtain a feather, pen, and ink. Okay. That is a nice little reading note. Something written. What do I do? An inkwell and a feather pen. A quill. 
No, stop looking at that. I didn't mean it. Wonderful being able to see. Great. There's gotta be somewhere that I can use this. Maybe we'll have a chat with Chloe and see how that goes. Hey, Michelle, thank you. Oh, okay. You had nothing new for me. You're locked. Hey, wait a minute. Dark black ink pens. I was gonna say, that... That inkwell doesn't look black in the slightest. In fact, that looks like blood. <laughs> to my acutely untrained eye. That's concerning. Right, where do I go? I know we gotta move that pedestal right here. I know he's gotta go. But how? Oh. Just to face this picture, I can't reach. Okay. That answers this question. Just slander this. Can't write with this pen. What do you mean you can't write with this pen? What? Are you right handed? Is that. Are you being picky about what hand I hold the quill in? Can't write with this pen. All right, fine spirits of this establishment, who would like to trade me for, like, a ballpoint pen or something? Fountain pen? Rollerball? I'm actually itching that I got a new fountain pen that I want to write with, and, you know, I've got that whole setup ready for these occasions for puzzle notes, but we haven't had the need yet, so. Sorry, dude, I'd help you if I could. I feel like I've exhausted everything to do in there, so... I can't write with this pen. Wait a minute, do I use a brush? Would that be insane? I saw both of my items briefly light up there, maybe that was the right combo. Wait, 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 what's going on here? Set fire to the spider webs. I thought I was supposed to be writing on it. If you think about it, we're going around and wrecking all the priceless artifacts in this haunted mansion by painting over them. And covered brush. Thanks. Thanks, my good sir. Lovely. Old stone monument. Some beautiful broken stained glass. Suit of armor. Oh, that's, um... Oh, is it like Venus something? I can't remember. I know... I've seen this painting. I just don't know. The Birth of Venus? Is that what it is? It is the Birth of Venus. Great. I'm not terribly uncultured, just mildly so. Mona Lisa. I don't know what that one is. Anyone got an Ophelia on display? I love Ophelia, especially after Mermaid Swamp. Run. Well. Foreboding. Oh, save spot. Let's do a new one, just in case. A violin. Ooh. I got trapped on the couch. Being chased by a little... some... some line art over here. Hmm. 
I can't preempt it. Actually, since I'm about to die. The bloody handprint had no meaning. Oh, you look, uh, you look pretty stressed, my dude. Was that... Chloe? Wait, it can't be. It was desaturated Chloe. That was depressed Chloe. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. Invisibly hide my disdain for, you know, Amori. Oh, I have the violin. Okay, now we can play. Uh, how was it? I don't like these things. I bet this dude was destined to play the violin, and he's trying to run from his fate. I bet. Oh. Sheet music. Right? Surely. Alright, here we go. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, it's nothing. Ooh, a flashback. What's good? Chloe. Frankenstein's monster over here. Father. I'm about to finish a song. Oh, you were the crazy composer we were reading about in the library. Once I'm finished, Chloe, come to my room. Yes, father. Weird, but all right. Oh, I'm playing. Piano. Indeed. Not here. Not here. Okay, so this is where we were getting bad vibes earlier, so is that why we couldn't, like, uh, couldn't go in? It hurts, doesn't it? But it hurts me too. Oh, so he's just like beating his family for for the art. When I see you so troubled, it troubles me too. I cannot stop crying. This dude probably killed his daughter and then wrote her a requiem. I love you, Chloe. I'm just calling it now, that's what I bet. Chloe. You do love me, right? Nah, dude. Yes, father. I see. Good girl. Here's a reward. Ah. Uh, it is a beautiful moonlit night tonight. Look, Chloe. Speaking of which, it seems you've been practicing moonlight on piano. Let me listen to you play sometime. I love you, Chloe. What is it with, like, all these fathers being locked up in European mansions and manors that drives them so insane? Like the Dravis family over here. They were probably neighbors. Hey, say, what, is, uh, what does the fellow down the street do? Oh, he's a... He's an odd one, that surgeon. What was the fellow down the other street do? Oh, he's a composer, but we hear screams from his house. Like, what on earth is going on over here? What did the wealthy elite over there do with their free time? I always, always wanted to listen to this. Thank you, Michelle. That was a wonderful performance. But it's not enough. Yeah. Actually, this song is not meant to be performed on a... I improvised a lot. Okay. Okay, but I do not quite think it is enough. Michelle, could you perform another song? What song should I perform? I don't know, go find a piece of music, dude. I do not know. Go look for a music sheet. I think there's one here too. Understood. My Chloe. This is going a little slow, I'm waiting. My one and only Chloe. 
If you were to leave me, even if... Even if you were alive, you would be dead to me. Weird, but okay. Great. Well, that was swell, but we gotta find some music. Oh, this is... Suddenly illuminated. A key for the second floor servant room south. Right, well, we don't trust you with the cardinal directions. This place seems, uh... Lighter. There's a doll. Less foreboding, perhaps. The, the vibes are realigned. Okay, let's have a little look around. No, speaking of that, we didn't find the second sword yet. Nothing there. Oh, these rooms connected. So not Chloe jumped me from here. Swell. We should probably task ourselves to find that sword. Maybe we're doing like a floor-by-floor -floor spiritual purification of this place. I get that vibe. Here we are. I feel like I'm being watched. Aren't we all? Ah, Trauma Ray. Scenes from Childhood. A famous song composed by Robert Schumann. Kinder Zen, right? Scenes from Childhood is the seventh song from a collection of 13 songs. Traumare means reverie. I thought it mean, meant daydream. Reverie? Really? Behind you. Nothing personnel, kid. Where am I? The quintessential RPG maker horror game question. Where am I? Something feels off here. Great. Memo somehow changed. Five maids working this manner. Oh no, oh no. ABC Dini. Here's some notes to make them easier. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, well at least so far, not a liar puzzle, so that's good. And now I get it right. Okay, Chloe's Requiem. A is tall and stands out. Right. B is 16. Youngest. Great. C is a veteran. A uh, long time. I'm gonna brand new pilot vanishing point in Rodden Galaxy for those of you who know and or care. D is timid and anxious. Timid. Anxious. Don't scold her too much. E is an East Asian <laughs> with black hair and dark colored eyes. East Asian. Great. Obtain maid's memo. I didn't even have to write that down. We had a memo and I spent all that time just copying it down. Swell. Teddy bear. Is that the sound of metal? A key? No. Chained to the ground? A notice board, five women. Okay. Man, I, I get your uh, fascination with the eye filter, but it's kind of hard for me to see things behind it. I know I'm being watched, but could you, like, briefly avert your eyes, please? didn't have to write that down. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. Dark red 
stain. Dark red stain. Oh, I thought for sure that it would have those would have been relevant. So I didn't get anything of value here. And I can leave. Oh, here, it's Trauma Ray. Pretty good cover. Not my typical one that I hear in games. No, oh, wait. Do you have anything of interest? Uh, thank you. Great. Nothing new. I need the teddy bear. Let's de equip. Maybe the scissors? There's no way. I feel like I'm being watched. Aha! I'm about to rip it up. Like little Richard. Key from mother's room, second floor was inside. Don't tell me you had a good relationship with your mother. I don't believe it. mad father kind of thing going on over here. Sorry about the comparisons to mad father, but there, there's the sadness that you only find in Eastern European mansions, apparently. Book, pages are empty inside. A good song. There's a portrait of a woman. The lady of the house, I presume. Smashed wine bottles. Oh, a little corner for dressing. Nice. The bed in the middle of the room is a very interesting choice, especially given that there's you know, presumably an entertainment table over here. It's like, geez, would it have killed you to put up like a screen? Like, see this thing right here, one of these dividers? Would it have killed you to have put one next to your bed? I feel like sleeping in the middle of the room is abnormal. You feel free to let me know if that's not true. My bed's against the wall. All my beds have always been against a wall. And so... Completely unknown to me. There's a skeleton here! It seems fake. Right, well, I doubt that. Accessories. There's a diary. Read the diary. My daughter has an ill mind. Huh. I carved her will to live within my psyche. I could no longer turn a blind eye to what was happening. When my daughter began to lose her mind, once her father took a distinct liking to her nine-year-old body, oh, oh, not one of these things. Tore stuffed animals to bits. There's no other way than to stab it eight times with a pair of scissors. Her eyes are beautiful. I wondered if I ever showed any emotion as she looked at me, those miraculously purple eyes that my husband could not help but love as she is his daughter. It did not take long for my daughter to go insane. Am I envious? I gnaw her arm off. My brain is devoured. It is a dream. I throw away my legs. The maids quit one after the other. The only maids that remain are B, you, and myself. Okay, so B stayed. Let me make a note of that. Star that in my notebook. By the way, is the mistress really Lady Chloe's mother? I mean, she is fairly older. Watch your mouth. The mistress is still only blank years old. What? But wait. I get what you were trying to say. You're probably not aware of this, but the mistress used to be so kind and beautiful when she was young. I struggle to imagine that. She changed so quickly in, a f in so few years. Maids quite... Oh, quit probably, one after the other. The only maids that remain are B, myself, and you. I will never quit. I hope not. Okay, we're in the scary place now. This is the bad place. Okay, please don't. I had the scissors equipped, so I had an option probably to stab them, but I did not. Strange, I cannot open it. Yeah, classical mistake, dude. 
we are trapped in here now. Yeah, let's not read that. Ooh. My, my office chair has a somewhat failing gas lift that I just haven't gotten around to replacing yet, so I've been sinking slowly as I've been playing this. Be you and myself. Ooh. So I have a dirty doll. And what can I do with said doll? Plates. I thought that was a fireplace. I can't see anything in here. Hmm. He was 16 and the youngest, so I have no idea what I'm doing with that information. You two must clearly be important, but I don't know how yet. Do I like... It feels like someone is there. Do I tuck... Oh wait. Here we are. There's a portrait of an older woman. That's okay, you can... The wall and floor are covered in red. And red is scary. What is this? It smells terrible. You play the world's saddest violin. Do I leave now? But oh, that did it. Well then. Well, we knew that you were being watched. What do I do about this doll? Uh, nope. Oh, wait. I'm full up. Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm low on sanity. Chloe! Help! Okay. So we're limited to something on this floor. I don't know what. Oh, this room is okay-ish again. Yeah, you're, uh... Every bit of those years is showing, huh? I didn't pay attention to what that painting was before. Oh, it's a canopy, though. Spend everything I need to do down here. Hmm. I also appreciate how the music changes by floor. That's been fun so far. Yeah, I am. I am liking this game. Thing. I'm, I'm gonna have to break up recording sessions, so I'll probably go for like a couple hours and then call it quits, but everything has been good except for some of the weirdness with the translation and the text display. Like when I was reading earlier about him improvising right about here, I assume violin was cut off. So there's something to it. Oh wait, the book's open. Words began to appear. Oh, 
the first bear was a cowardly crybaby. The second bear was an Asian heretic. Excuse you. Okay, so the bear two is E. And then a cowardly crybaby. D, so this is bear one. Okay. One by one, they disappear. The old bear was the last to die. Okay, so this is kind of a puzzle that I don't like last. Let's see who was the third bear to disappear. Uh, the question then is number three, question mark. Okay. The rest is blank. Let's see. Be you and myself. Let's think of unable to write. Uh huh. Letters. Letters. Uh oh, we bad ended on accident because I chickened out from answering. Huh? What's happened? Dude was like incomprehensible. Oh, that kind of scared me. My man's forgot how to write English. Well, thanks for the compliment. I'm gonna go right back and face the horrors. Okay, the first bear was a cowardly cryberry, a crybaby. Okay. B. Okay. With the two, the conversation on the other side, be you and myself means that the. B was one of the three survivors, and then the veteran was last. So that leaves us A potentially as the third bear. Right, let's try A. I'm guessing by the noises that I was incorrect. Oh wait, no, a key suddenly appeared. Key to Chloe's room. You fellas are fine, right? Well, I'm glad it was that. I cannot for the life of me do the liar puzzles. Like, oh, A is lying and B only tells the truth and C thinks that D is lying and oh. Cannot do those. Chloe's room. Oh, pardon the intrusion. Oh, it's the... What room is this? It's too dark. It is the main theme. Candlestick didn't do anything. There's water in the bucket. Won't be enough. I need firewood. I do like how... Oh wait! Young Prodigy, Michel de Alembert in concert. Special invitation. Alembert? Firewood. Where am I gonna find firewood around these parts? Chloe, your room is so dark, and it's probably kind of drafty too. Ritual sacrifice? Hello? Uh -huh. What about two toys, huh? What about that? No? Okay, well porcelain presumably doesn't burn quite well. I would love some light. A castle Soldier doll Wait, something seems to be stuck What? Oh, on the wall Okay Ah, 
How about you two? Well, that seemed to work. Sorry, Chloe, just burning all your stuff. Scream? Are you gonna scream? Are you gonna do it? I knew it. I knew you were gonna scream. Twilight Zone episode over here. Set fire to the fireplace. Oh, check that out. We got the spirits. Hey, thanks for helping me escape. You. I'm a friend. Well, I already disappeared. Disappeared? I used to be able to talk a lot, but one day something happened. I disappeared. But you're here now, aren't you? And that's proof that you're alive. These are my remains, a fragment from her memory. Um, by her, do you mean Chloe? You know Scenes from Childhood? It's a song about adults looking back on their past. I think she needs to also look back on her past. If you can bring me something, a memory of sorts, I can show you a little of her memories. Cat? Cats? When did they get in? Uh, I wonder if they're the cats I heard earlier. Noir, Blanc. What are you doing here? I've been looking for you too. Chloe, are they your cats? Yeah, they're mine. Noir and Blanc. Quite simple names. <laughs> they're not simple. I put a lot of thought into them. Noir because they're a black cat and Blanc because they're a white cat. I caught that. Oh, okay. By the way, what were you doing? It looked like you were talking with someone, but you're alone. I'm going insane. Thanks for asking. Nothing in particular. Noir does like meowing, I guess. Let us be off, Blanc. You know, I was thinking. Rare thought. Um, I have an old, like, free game magazine, and I think there's a Chloe's Requiem comic in there, because I remember seeing Noir and Blanc. I'll have to go dig that out and have a look later. How about this? Would you like this dirty doll? Would that help you jog your memory? No. Hmm. There's a drawing of a family. Oh, you know that's... That's gonna get twisted. So evil. Cast it in the fire. Welcome to my twisted mind. Oh, I'm playing. Hey, look, look, it's father, mother, and myself. Is it good? Whoa, amazing. You all look so close. I did my best. Why not show it to your mother and father? I think they'll love it. Okay. I'm about to get whooped. Father be like, why aren't you studying music? Oh, father, please look, I did my best. Chloe. Father, what is it? You already eight years old. Yes, father, I turned eight last month. Father, um, this. Yeah, he didn't seem too thrilled about the art. Uh. You lied to me, friend. It's okay. I think your mother will love it. Why not show her it? It's fine. I'm going to bed. I see. Good night. It's okay. Your father will be normal again soon. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay, I do have to put it out. Oh, I did it. Firing the hearth is gone. Small key was found in the coals. What's locked around these parts, huh? Okay. Small drumstick next to it. What? Oh, you need a you need a drum. Oh, oh. The toy box. Here you go. Accessory. Yeah, yeah. 
I got this. Step back. Here you go. Have fun. Okay. Huh? Music. Traumare sheet music. We are done here. Oh. What was the loud slamming noise? Oh, you can pet the cat. Game of the year. Oh, Blanc doesn't like being pet. Hmm? I can, like, glitch them out by hitting Z. And you meow. Uh-huh. Michelle, something happened. I heard a sudden loud noise just before. The piano is broken. Where'd you get that, Acme? What should I do? Hold on, calm down. Are there any other rooms to the piano? There is. In a giant hole on the floor above, but... I am unable to go there. It feels really odd. Noir? Blanc? Oh, there they go. Oh, the little one. Noir is so slow. What... What sorcery did they do? The strange feeling disappeared. Well, huh. I wonder if it's okay now. I'll check out the third floor. I mean, yeah, sure. I'll have a look-see. After I save. I love the imagery of me wandering around this abandoned spooky mansion with my single candlestick. Oh, shoot. I've heard this song, but I do not know the name. We'll find out shortly, I'm sure. Okay, uh, he said the room looked familiar. I'm wondering if I'm- I wonder if I'm imagining it. This was definitely in another game of similar genre. Instinct tells me Alice Mare, but I don't know if that's true. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. I'm just guessing everything from that era, like 2012 to 2014, it's fair game. Oh, you know what this is? This is gonna be a puzzle. I know it. I know it in my heart that that's gonna be a puzzle. Second floor servant's room key south. A save point up here. Need to look around still. No, you don't. We're leaving. We are gone, Michelle. What is there to look around at? A piano? Is that it? There is a piano. Indeed. Great. Whew, you scared me. You were making really loud clomping noises for being eight years old. Ah, oh, but this doesn't have a piano key. Ah, oh, I cannot play without the piano key. Michelle, let's look for it. Together. Even if we find the piano keys, will that be enough to fix it? Isn't it a fool's errand? Okay, I'll look for it. Thank you, Michelle. What you said together and then now after crying you back out? Fine. Second floor servants' quarters? Aw, oh, kitty. No? Ah. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait, this is the other side of the room. D. You're the first to leave. Ah, oh, madam, I. Generic RPG Maker Scream 1. They found the cut up stuffed toy, that's why I cut up them. You need to quickly burn the body. A likely story. Wait. Who slept here? There's. F okay, you'll open now, right? 
feel like I'm being watched. Oh, that's bleeding out. But there's... There's five beds in here. And there were five maids. But then there's another bed over there. Who was sleeping in the last, like, other half of the servants' quarters? I mean, yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Burn the stuffed toy. I wonder if this is enough. I feel like I'm being watched. Lovely. They saw, they saw, they saw, they saw. We fired the East Asian maid and the tall and skinny one disappeared. Okay, so number three disappeared. What do we do with the remaining two? Oh, I know. We're killing strangers. And we don't kill the ones who we love. Oh, great. You're right here. There's no piano key. Great. I just was looking for a sanity to top up. So thanks. Right. Let's do the deed. Oh, they're gone. Well, good for them. Because you can guess what I was stealing myself to do. That's Chloe's room. This is a big bear. Oh, something happened here. This chair's knocked over. Tin clock. Hm. Right, well. I feel like I'm being watched. It says B. Oh. Uh. Don't set on fire. Wait, yeah. I did have to set B on fire. It's B and C. Wait, I see writing here. Killed three people. I mean, yeah. If you don't mind order... Oops. Nope, I want that. Huh? It's so hot in this room. I messed up? Really? Oh, wait, you were number three. Great. It's hot in this room because you're wearing a vest and a blazer. Right. Let's do that again, but with more feeling. So, A. Okay, that worked. No longer feels like someone is there. Except for these two who witnessed the deed. Noir, Blanc. The cat started playing with the stuffed toys. A key fell out. Two piano keys fell out from the stuffed toys. Hey, look at that. Two piano keys. All right, let me... Oh, you're locked. It cannot be. A voice can be heard. That's not Estonian. That's backwards. No one can interfere now. All that remains is that girl. Oh, hey. Little, little arts and crafts. I have the feeling that mom wasn't doing so hot in the end. I'm sure we'll need that. Unusual. These folks really have nothing better to do with their mansion. They're like, oh, this whole floor is haunted. Oh, it's haunted everywhere. Hey, I need sanity top up, please. Found one. Really? I'll put it on the piano. I have to. Oh yeah, I do. Um, do do. Uh, double fist piano keys. Okay. It's fixed. The piano made a noise. Just fixed it. Really? I'm so relieved. Michelle, thank you. 
makes nothing. Okay. Is it time? Violin. Tramway. Here we go. Okay, Michelle. I showed that drawing to my mother just before. Nice, what did your mother say? She said thank you and accepted the drawing. I'm glad. You worked so hard on that drawing. No, she no doubt loves it. Oh, mother, she did not look too well. I do not think she's feeling well. Recently, my father has also been acting strange. I wonder what happened. It's the lead in your pipes. Hmm, something probably happened. Something you don't know. I wonder if it's something bad. It'll be fine. You don't need to worry. Right, guys? She doesn't need to worry. Of course. It'll all be fine. Exactly as you say. Thank you. I have... I have a... I'm harboring a concern that... This friend in the fireplace may not be as... Nice or as, uh... Benevolent as we thought. Alright, thanks everyone. Not sleepy yet. A cistern. Chloe, how's my drumming? You're so talented. Of course, the dolls are pretty today. Great. Hmm. What am I supposed to be doing? Great. Oh, I had to talk to everyone. Here comes my brooding Edgar Allan Poe of father. Father? Oh. Oh, we're being whooped. You don't make any noise now. How boring. Chloe. You exist only for me, because you are my daughter. Got it? Reply. This man needs to be taken out back and shot. Yes. You will never go against me. I assume that was supposed to be ever again. Okay. Okay. This would be really good if it weren't for the little bits and pieces of poor translation. Oh, there's blood on the stuff, toys. Oh well. Ugh. Why? It hurts. Save me. I wonder who's voicing Chloe, because I think that meant it hurts, right? No one is coming. Hey, there's no response. Oh, my toys don't talk to me anymore either. That's not good. Interact with something in here. Hmm. What do I do? Key hanging on that rack. I just noticed. Mm. There must be something I can do around here.
I do wonder what the reality of the situation is. Oh, do I wind you up? Is that what that is? No. Man, you got me. So, Mother says that Chloe is evil. And Father is just beating us for no reason. For no apparent reason. We seem to be stuck here, and we're probably dead. And by we, I mean Chloe. Man, I'm just stuck in purgatory, apparently. Let me out of here. So, I wonder what the reality is. Did we, you know, are we commuting with spirits? Is the friend not a friend? Is the father commuting with spirits? Has he been led down this dastardly path? Okay, what am I missing here? I feel like I've interacted with a fair bit of everything. presents. Right? We did the couch. We've done the table. We did the bear. The cistern. There's no fire. You don't want to talk to your toys. The toys don't talk back anymore. Toy soldier. Oh, wait. Here we go. Why? Answer already. Please. Everyone. Everyone is mad at me. Oh, everyone went to Mad at You Island, apparently. They hate me. That's why. That's why they're no longer answering. They'll never forgive me. Perhaps you just grew up against your will. A very emotional piece. Bravo. A key? I see you down there. What, does Chloe not have to stand up and take a bow too? We're we getting all the credit? An achievement. Played trauma ray with Chloe. That is odd. What is wrong? Oh, nothing. Nothing is wrong. I enjoyed performing. Just a little. I think that I originally always wanted to perform like this. Yeah. It was such a wonderful performance. But it still wasn't enough. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're learning to live again. It's the joy of life. And the wonder of being alive. But I still want to see. What should I perform next? You don't know, do you? Should I go look for another music sheet? I'm causing you so much trouble. It's fine, don't worry. I'm sorry, Michelle. Thank you. You yeah, no problem, man. I got this. I had only you. I loved you so much. The dramatic reading is really accentuated by how long these lines take to appear on screen. I can no longer pat you on the head. I killed Chloe. Okay, well, yeah, surprise, fork found in kitchen. I still swear the song was in, like, Alice Mirror. Well, maybe we'll learn more as we continue to explore the wonders of this horribly cursed evil mansion. Not as many rooms on this floor. This should make it easy. Ooh, this is a really big room. 3 a.m. What time do you suppose sunrise is around these parts? There's a letter. Read the letter, sure. We'll snoop. Oh, I forgot to save. Snap. Cello was killed. Last night, early in the morning, the remains of Cello... 
Sorry, I just had a realization. With the chairs outside and the table, I feel like we're set up for a trial puzzle. The one thing that I was complaining about. Okay, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't know if this is a trial puzzle. All their strings have been cut. Okay, so cello like the instrument. There's a rough sketch of a map enclosed in the letter. Oh, hey, look at that. Orchestra map? This is the hammer. Got me mallet. Rusted old hammer. Hmm. Blood on the floor. I lost one sanity for looking at blood. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, no, I don't want the made one. Viola and contrabass and contrabass are the ones that are closest in the conductor. Wait, I need my sanity back. Great. So annoying. Annoying? Mm -mm. Sorry, that was a joke. Given this eight-year-old ghost girl anxiety, I'm feeling, I'm feeling increasingly confident in my prediction that she's a ghost, given the fact that... You know, this is the circumstance we find ourselves in. Was that really it? I think there's more to do. Yeah, there's more. I just noticed... Oh wait, no it's not. Actually... Huh. I just noticed the menu thing or I finally paid attention to it. You can click on it to get it to work. That's cool. Real, a real departure from back in the day. Can I break open the locker? Oop. Oh. This is everyone's locker. Let's have a look again, because it was contrabass, viola, and conductor. So viola. Let's have a let's have a little look. Huh? Wow, my ears. Ooh. Tinnitus. Wait, how was I supposed to make that? Uh, this is weird. This is sudden. <sighs> sure. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Great. Well, I got my sanity. Let's go back and figure out. Was there another clue in here? Okay, Cello was killed. It's viola, contrabass, or conductor. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. No? The other thing, I think, as you just saw, the punishment sequences go a little too fast when you, like, mess up the puzzles. The chairs we're talking for, something about a murder. Oh, there's clues out here? Are you kidding me? Okay, I saw cello. Smaller than the cello. Okay. So me, me stumbling around and guessing was not good. Also, there's no H in cello, right? I'm no music kid, but... Okay. Hmm.
Right, well... Viola? Right, well, hammer time. Huh, what is this feeling? It's like... Was I wrong? Oops. We shall? <sighs> uh, yeah, sure. What? Smaller, but... It wasn't the... The viola? This is the conductor, it's got... Get over here. Okay, great. It was wrong again. How is this... How is it not Viola? Okay, yeah, whatever. Hallucinations. What? What? Okay, here. Trade you a head pat for sanity. What on earth is going on? Oh, I'm running into a cat. Okay, you had nothing to say. One of the violins had done it. Nope. Next to the one, next to the cello. Okay. Okay. Smaller than the cello. Next to the victim. It's not the violins. I mean... It's not the clarinet. Contrabass? That's confounding. You definitely spelled symbol wrong there. That's timpani, right? Okay, I'm gonna assume it was double bass. It was the flute. It was the flute. The key to father's room. Father of the remains. Okay, I was good. Is the flute really next to the cello? Is that does that count? I don't know. Maybe I just don't know anything about how orchestras are laid out, which I don't. Music's different. That's interesting. All right, let's see what horrors await us in the father's room. Here's the, the main theme. But spooky or eerie. Drawing paper. There's a, an awful amount of blood over here. A piano. This is very, very atmospheric of them. <laughs> However, what am I supposed to be doing? Hmm? The teacup is filled with a crimson colored liquid. Really? I got scared by that? You little wuss. I'm gonna go top up before I go look at red liquids again. 
All right, fine, we'll trade. Drawing paper. Oh, I like this section. This is good. Wow, very, very imposing. Whoa, that, that escalated. That, that crescendoed. Perhaps? Oh, here we go. Records of my beloved daughter, daughter's growth. There's an old album. This is quite loud. There's a girl who looks similar to Chloe. She's a pained expression. I mean, sure, yeah. Really? Filthy. Oh, I'm possessed. Of course I'm possessed. What are, oh. Great. You spelled despicable wrong. <laughs> Don't touch me. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This isn't too big. I killed Chloe. I love you. Good night, my Chloe. <laughs> Chloe's room. The end of the girl, Chloe was killed. Well. Great. Let's try that again, but with less death, potentially. Side table book. Let's see. So, reading that. Oh, here we go. Some strange words cited. Aha. Feather pen and ink. And drawing paper. How about that? I can't transcribe them? Okay, do I just look closer at everything? That seems like a way of going about it. Oh wait, you're the sanity reducing cup of tea. There are some strange words cited. All right, let's do one and then leave. Really? Right, well. Okay. Whatever, man. I can't even, like, close out and load and go through this stupid little sequence again. Whatever, we're just gonna go downstairs. Wow, this dude's just pounding on it. This looks different. The clock is broken. I can't read it. I wonder what else looks different. I want to open. Oh, those are servants' quarters.
dude is mad. I wonder if there's something I'm supposed to do. I'm well possessed by the father. Huh. Well, at least I can read the tutorial. Lord. Alright. Didn't there used to be a couple swords over here? Where'd those go? Is this- am I supposed to- supposed to go through, like, cathartic release here where I just break all these chairs and the guy feels better? Interesting. I guess this might help him feel a little better. Sure, let's just let's just wreck it all. Why not? Yukio Mishima, those two poor fools. Dang, okay. Man, what's left for me to smash up? Oh, cool. I can smash things in here, too. this up, didn't I? Uh-oh. X day, X month, cloudy. Recently, someone has been watching me. They follow me wherever I go. I gotta reload the save and not kill the cats, actually. It's weird. Uh, went out today, played with the maid, Miss D. Miss D's really friendly. I like her. Mother does not talk with me. She's always locked in the room alone. She looks at me, she pulls a face. My father called for me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I absolutely despise pictures. Miss D suddenly quit. My mother said it is because Miss D will marry. I wanted to be happy, but I'm lonely. I was called to a concert. I feel like he was able to forget everything bad. The performance was wonderful. Father called for me again. Another maid quit. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The manor is quiet now. All the maids quit. There's no one for me to talk to. My clothes are all destroyed. My favorite clothes. Clothes that my father bought me. How awful. It's just raining nonstop forever. Mother said she cut up all my clothes. She said she hates me. She hates me because father likes me. Sounds like you have some issues. Why? Why did this happen? What did I do? I just wanted to be loved by my mother. I did not want to be loved by my father like that. I just wanted to be loved by my mother. Great, well that confirms that the father is just, you know, despicable human being. Deserves to be killed. 
Kitty died. Have not eaten since before yesterday. Lost another friend. Suffering, suffering, suffering. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Help me. I had a dream about that day. The day I ran from my father. I want to see him just one more time. What? I'm scared. Scared, scared. My father's terrifying. I hate being hit. I despise him. If only he did not exist. My father called me. Recently, I have days that I cannot remember. I think I am broken. Something's wrong with me. I want to kill someone. I think I'm going insane. Well, granted, in this circumstance. I read in a book today that if your hateful feelings become too strong, it can transform into a curse. I wonder if I'm already cursed. You curse this place, certainly. My father, again. Just dots. I'm human. I'm not someone's doll, nor am I a pet. I want to think that. Can't everyone think that of me? My father, my mother, everyone. The curse is getting worse. It's said in that book. If the curse gets too bad, it begins to materialize. I wonder if he can help, like that day. I want to see him. I want to run away. Someone. Did we know her and we forgot? Help me. Hmm. Chloe. I'm the worst. Even though I knew you're human, I was wrong. Chloe's the same as me, isn't she? A human, just like me. Why did I? Until now. Oh, this is great and all, but I gotta reload and not kill the cats. I wanna see it one more time. Alright, YouTube better be okay. What's. Wait, how did I end up straight back in here? Oh, I'm still... Am I still possessed? Chloe. Uh, I'm sorry. What? No, I'm awful. I was so rude to you. So I have to apologize. I'm sorry. Man, you gotta guilt me with my... My horrible actions have caught up to me, and I'm just looking at these two poor souls. That's what you say. Yeah. Alright, well, wait, 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 wait. we gotta... There's some intolerable behavior on my part that we gotta rectify. Should I do this again? Chloe. There's a family picture in the photo album on the last page. It is a picture of you when you were young? Standing beside your young parents? Wait, what? It says behind the piano on the back. What? Wait, what? We are involved here somehow? Behind the piano. Ah. Here behind? No. Behind the piano. Not this piano? Perhaps? Okay, so I was looking up a guide and it said that I missed a step in that I was supposed to get a charm of some kind by showing her the combination of the drawing paper we find in the father's room and then the cutout of the picture. So let's see what happens. Okay, she drew it. Mother and father are here. Reality alone now. Okay, let's see. Drawing paper. Draw something real quick. Let's see. What do we get? Look, look. Oh, hey, look at that. Is that me? Yeah. Now I'm no longer alone, right, Michelle? Well, I guess so. By the way, here, you can have it. A keepsake. Keep a hold of it. Well, thanks. Uh, do your best. <laughs> Come back alive. Hmm? What, it's that bad around here? Okay. Then... Yeah, I'll save here. 
Let's see what happens, because I think... The father's room sequence, you were supposed to be able to find a tool behind the piano, and for whatever reason, I was just locked out of that. So let's see what happens. There we go. A tool. Just one more room. Oh, maybe we are kind of close. Flathead screwdriver. Fantastic. Right, well that took me much longer than it should have. Chloe. Oh wait, this is the I'm sorry for being rude conversation. Breaking a lock? I feel like that's gotta be a lock breaking thing. Let's go mess around with these two rooms over here. No? What about this one? Uh, hmm. Aha! There's another room right here that I didn't see. Doorknob is broken. Ah, so we're just unscrewing this bad boy. We're broken doorknob. Okay, let's save real quick. I do wonder how much longer this game will run. All right, I think I'm gonna call this session here. It's been long enough and maybe I'll just pick it up. And a different one, since we've got at least one more puzzle room, so we'll see how it goes. We'll figure it out eventually. Yup.